I have a question. How will you contribute and be a productive American? <laughs> right, weird question. I think Gina's family might be bigots asking her this question. And yeah, they are asking like the US government. <laughs> They're all U.S. citizens. I know, but <laughs> yes. <All> right. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, guys, and welcome to another video. Hope you are doing good. And in today's video, we're going to get into Penida and Gino Palazzolo reaction. Let's jump in. Today, I look at myself in the mirror, was super red, and I got scared like, what is this? What is causing this? Is that like the house is very dirty. Yeah. She's complaining about the house being dirty. Yeah, it is actually. I think she's responsible for that though, too. No, okay. it's the one because she just mocked the house. Oh, okay. I thought That's they were living there together. Actually, yeah. right. You were living in a dirty just apartment with mice in it. What mice? Just we're supposed to be building a life together, one in which I can bring my kids into, so this is serious. Like every time, she's idiot. Idiot. Mm -hmm. uh, he told her that she used to live, to in, live in a house dirty house. Mice. But that's not an excuse to... So for him to she, live in dirt. Yeah, to yeah. live in dirt too. Right. Like, you are living with mice. You should accept money. He's kind of defending. Why she house? Yes, he's kind of defending himself in front of public TV. Yeah. Like the weather is like the best representation of how I'm feeling at this moment. Oh, by the way, she's going to meet with the Jean's family. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're gonna comfort her yeah. for the first time. Right. Excited to watch. Actually. I'm meeting a bunch of strangers that don't like me at all and uh, being nothing but super judgmental. My biggest fear is them stopping Gino from marrying me. This is actually the first time she's meeting with the Gino's family. family. Mm -hmm. And she's already anticipating the right. bad things to happen. Right. Being right. judgmental. Yeah. Oh, actually. She is so sincere from confronting his family. Right. Um, especially when it comes to their wedding. Because I know that he really listens to his family. <laughs> that big smile that you give to someone yeah. that you don't like. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> She's well, faking it. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. When I first arrived, the first impression that I'm getting is that Gino's family seems happy to meet me. Uh, they're all smiley, uh, very joyful. They are saying nice things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we saw that too. Yeah. They are very happy to see her. Mm. But good, we don't know what's behind. Yeah, that's a good start. Yes, yeah. right. Continue watching. I'm not shocked that they're being nice to me because the way I picture it is like when an animal is trying to attract their prey, they're trying to be like, <laughs> look friendly and all that. And they're just waiting for the moment to attack. Is she comparing like Gina's family to animals? Yeah, she's pointing to them as animals. Oh my That's God. That's so That's so inappropriate. inappropriate. Never really met Jasmine. I've only spoken to her just a little bit. In ways, they seem a little bit mixed matched. Gino's not the best looking guy. He doesn't have the most money. We're just trying to figure out what's her real intent. Oh, really? Yeah. Actually, he has the right. So he might be adopting the reasons behind her being with Gino. Mm -hmm. Maybe she's here for the wrong the, reason. Yeah, the wrong reason, right? Yeah, and when we look on social media, we saw a lot of provocative type things. I guess we're a little bit concerned about why she's doing that. Is she trying to get other sugar daddies, so to speak? So we're trying to get some answers. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's the case. They're trying to get answers about her real intentions behind, yeah. you know, those provocative pictures on social even, media. Even her social media account is so pro provocative, so... Right, right. She might be looking for another sugar, sugar daddy, as she may be more rich than Gina. Oh. I gave Jasmine like, uh, like a quite a bit of sum of money, right, to buy a wedding dress. 
and she ended up spending the money I gave her for the wedding dress on like a cosmetic surgery. I saw that. And you see the family's reaction. Uh, you seem to be shocked. You've been used, you know. You've been used. Uh, I'm like, whoa, I mean, I gave you that money for the wedding dress. Right. So how much so, money are we talking about, do you know? Like $4,000. That's so much money. <sighs> wow. She sent the money in her box. She did it on Portland Black Lives. She actually did. And it's so That's shit. so bad. That's so, so bad. bad. Mm -hmm. Wow. Gino doesn't have any emotional reaction towards that. He doesn't seem to be as shocked as his family. Gino, that's, you know, that's big red flag. But I think Gino got used to, to see always the same pattern repeat itself over and over and over again, so it becomes like a normal thing for him. Mm. Right. For them, it might be a shock, a shock for them. But for for Gino, it's it's becoming it's uh, it's becoming something normal. Yeah, yeah. He's behaving in a way to keep the calm between him and her. Wow. In order to get her, maybe he's too in love with her. Yeah, he doesn't yes. want to mm. to lose her, maybe. And yes, and he's trying not to be in an attack position, yeah. while just being neutral. And okay, she did, and then I just have to keep the calm and have her decide. Right. So I mean, it's probably not just me, but probably a lot of people in the family have big concerns. Just like how grateful you are for everything Gino's really gonna bring to you. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. that's a good question. By the way, mm -hmm. this was so silly, actually. I understand your perspective. Like me coming to the United States, I should be grateful for that. But the way I see it is that Gino should be grateful that. I came to the United States and I left everything I have ever loved. She's hinting that she's doing this for Gina only. And she left everything behind, behind her. Every back. precious thing she left, she has left behind. Mm -hmm. Let's continue. I have a question. How will you contribute and be a productive American? <laughs> Weird right, weird question. I think Gina's family might be bigots asking her this question and yeah. how she's going to be or to contribute in this state. Isn't it? It was actually like he was interviewing her for US citizenship right, right. or something like that. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm an educated woman. I speak two languages. I have worked since I am 16 years old. I have always worked. And right now, Legally, with this kind of visa, I am not allowed to work. I wouldn't answer that question, by the way. Why? Because this is this is a weird question to us. Yes, for it is someone, weird. Look at them how they're For someone who is a new immigrant to a new country, right, right. meeting with the I don't know fiance's family. Yeah, what do you think, guys, about no. this? What do you think? Is this something that they should have asked her or? It is something weird to be asked. Yeah, that's or weird, weird maybe question. they are doubting her about her real intentions. So because she showed a lot of real flags, especially going for about fourteen thousand dollars. Just no, just four thousand. Four thousand to spend on herself instead of buying her wedding dress. So I, I think mean. they have all the right to ask. Yeah, but it doesn't it doesn't give him the right to be an official of the US Department of Education. Yes, right, right. They are attacking me. Right now, this is a personal attack. It doesn't matter what I do, I will never be good enough for Gina's family. Wow. Alright, that's her perspective again, and she doesn't know their real intentions behind asking her such questions. And at the end of the road, she just she doesn't have to like Keep believing that they would never like her. Yeah, but this doesn't sound like family gathering. Yes. Family yes. 
Sounds, Sounds like, like uh, if we are in a, a company police with the investigation, police investigation, like being with HR mm. for a job interview, something like oh, yeah. that. It is not. I don't know. It I has a it. Weird more question. professional level. I'm asking where we yes. It has a more way professional level instead of being with family and yeah. you know having that friendly moments and getting to know each other instead of investigating. Yeah, they are acting like the U.S. government. <laughs> They're all U.S. citizens. I know. <laughs> yes. <All> right. <laughs> <laughs> and it is directly to the fact that I'm not American. And they already put a label on me because of it. I have the right. Yeah, yeah. But for me, they didn't, I guess if they didn't she, put in a label over her. And yeah, see, if she is an just, American. Yes. If she is an American. Imagine Imagine the situation if she is an American. Right. They would never ask her. Yes. Those kinds of questions. Yes. Weird because, questions. Because most of the time, like, people, foreigners who are coming from yeah. other countries are, are put in this test positions. Yeah. You know, and they don't believe or trust their real intentions. Um, you know, they have all the right, but they, they had to be more smooth and soft with it. Not going the hard way yeah. and being too diplomatic and asking those kind of questions. I'm not after Gino's money. So I don't know why you have those concerns about me. I think it was you, Dano, like suggested to Gino, like a prenup. You know, I took it as an offense. All right, so she, she was straight to the point. I'm not behind Gino's money. You guys, why asking these questions? Do you really want to know my intentions? Yeah, actually, if she uh, is not after Gina's money, mm -hmm. why not just sign the prenup? Right, right. Why is she taking this as an offense and something against her? Yes, she, yes, she's being. When I got married to Lori, I signed yeah. one. Her dad wanted me to sign a prenup. Okay, so. Yeah, actually, I think all immigrants have really dealt with this shit and props to Jasmine keeping her cool and being graceful with her answers. Why? Why would you think that Gino will need a prenup? Mm -hmm, that's a good question. Right. Um, I think it would just be like a security blanket for him. I know he's not rich, but protect what he worked so hard yeah, for. Yeah, because he's worked so hard his whole life. And then if, if you had bad intentions, you come in and you take everything he's worked his whole life for. In my opinion, there is trust issues. From the size, why go out there and marry that person in the first place? Why? This matters is yeah. is something that Gino is responsible for. He's the one who is in responsibility position. I mean, you know, he yeah, he mean, better know. I mean, he has. Yeah, a he right better know. To... He had many red flags. He be so why you keep digging into something? Why you? Maybe you had enough red flags to that that were manifesting, and trust me, she would never ever show them here on table that she's behind Gino's money. That's stupid. No, no. That's really stupid. If you're asking me what you can do, I can answer. I can do a lot of things. Really, I'm good at it. Mm. But once I'm in the states, okay, I used to do that things. Right. Not anymore. I don't know. It depends on on the person who is in who is uh, being uh, you know in a position to have that partner with his whole life. So he might he might work on that maybe. So he right. can know better if he's with the right person or not. Not the family. I'm trying my best with Gino's family right now, but this is what I mean when I say that they don't like me, no matter what I do. <laughs> right, you know the way they look at her, like yeah, mm. really. And you see her reaction. It's like if they were in a war or a debate. Yeah, I did yeah. my best with them, so yeah. I'm smart enough to manipulate them as well. If it's the case, then I will face you and get you some answers that you might be happy with. Yeah. But they might not be right. And Gino was just like like a child, <laughs> looking <laughs> like he keeps looking and mm, okay. Mm. Even the prenup wasn't his idea. Really? Yeah. All right. It's almost like nothing about me is good enough for them. 
I don't know what it's gonna take from me to convince them that I belong to the family. Maybe if she start like changing and she becoming a good person. Right. And see like if using his money. Right. And you see you can way. see you can see by Maybe the way. You're gonna... And you can see she's doing her all her best to convince them. Like she said, I don't know what to do to convince mm -hmm. them. Like I'm doing my best. I'm just trying to yeah. to work hard on getting them some answers that will be convincing. And yes, it's it's super crazy. We can we cannot know if if her talk is real actually, mm -hmm. even though Tiranas or pursued in his family that way mm -hmm. can make sense for them or not, they better know. They better know. Right. I think her actions speak louder than her words. Right, right. Yeah. She's saying something and she's acting differently. Differently, right? Yeah. Agreed, agreed. So I'm not right. I'm not into Gina's money. I'm not into after I'm not going after Gina's money. But at the same time I'm using Gina's money to get like cosmetic procedures or something like this. Right. Instead of like of buying the wedding dress. The mat is mat and hair, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. So, guys, we've come to an end. Hope you really like the video, and please let us in the comments below what you think about this, so we can know your opinions. Oh. And don't forget to like this video, right? And subscribe to the channel, of yeah, course, subscribe. because it helps us a lot to yeah. to manage creating more content on a daily basis, guys. For you, we really have a lot of work to do, actually. And thank you so much for watching. Take good care and see, see you, you in another video. Bye from now. Bye.